The initial inspiration always came from from architecture, uh, but the the previous project has always been a more abstract approach. My name is Kjetil Guli. I am a generative artist from Norway, and I experiment with the interplay between uh, chaos and order. And I usually do that with uh, a uh, simple visual clarity, but with a, a complex structure behind. I've always been fascinated about this repetitious structure that has certain flaws in it. So, so uh, for this piece, I tried to, to create uh, structures with strong repetition, but that has some sort of flaw or some sort of randomness in it, kind of like you see in, in real architecture, where, where you have these very strict patterns in the building itself, but it has some flaws uh, that are created from us humans living in these structures and, uh, and making our own imprint on them, like curtains in the windows or AC units or, uh, or scratches on the walls. After working a bit with these pieces, I felt like Monument was a very fitting name for them, uh, as some of them, uh, some are really recognizable as, as high-rise buildings, but some are also very uh, sculpture-like and, uh, and have their own aesthetic in that way. So I felt like Monument kind of captured uh, that whole range of, of uh, aesthetics. The visual part of the process usually starts up with sketches. So I, I make a lot of, uh, I have a sketchbook full, filled with, with sketches for a, for a particular project. And I, I try to see what kind of visuals would, would work for this structure. The next part is usually to, to uh, figure out whether or not this is actually a feasible way uh, of, uh, of um, visualizing it so that is it actually possible to achieve with code. So in recreating these, these architectural structures, I think what, uh, what emerges are these obvious associations to high-rise brutalist structures uh, and uh, maybe some uh, even some art deco style as well. Uh, but I think what my what my uh, what I want to be the kind of the takeaway is that whenever you do make these structures with these flawed repetitions, there will be this whole plethora of uh, of associations coming up because we see these flawed patterns all over the place, and uh, and this is really these can be these can give associations to buildings, they can give associations to a traffic jam. They can give associations to, to, the, to the furniture of a room. Uh, you see these, when you start looking for them, you will see these flawed, repetitious structures everywhere. And that is kind of what I feel is very interesting about this. And, uh, and um, you can do a lot of things around this. You can introduce colors that break up this monotony, or you can, you can make it as flawed as you, you would like. And all of these things decides I think what kind of associations we make, each one of us.